I am Dr. Sharjeel and today we will discuss the second video of the series visual field printouts. So here I am showing you another Harm Humphrey visual field printout and in this video I will also show you Medmont visual field printout and Octopus visual field printout. So you should also check the differences of the printouts so you should be able to diagnose it like here if you see the grayscale as well as numeric display and the total deviation and pattern uh, deviations all are square shaped they are not round they are square shaped so that's the differentiating point of uh, Humphrey from the Medmont because in Medmont you will have the circles elongated circles and in the octopus you will have round circles so now if we come the first thing in the visual field you should see the reliability indices so this test is highly reliable fixation losses false positive false negative they are all zero so it is a highly reliable visual field printout test duration is 2.40 so it's a fast test strategy theta fast then you can see central 24 degrees 24-2 test so 24 degrees around the central fixation have been checked and now if you see it's a normal visual field printout so in a numerical display you can see high positive values in the decibels high positive values in the decibel means normal vision like 33 31 30 these the decibels if increase it means the sensitivity is high retinal sensitivity is high now if you come to the grayscale on the right side is a dark spot so that is the blind spot pot so the blind spot is on the right side so it is the visual field print out of the right eye so now if you so that's the grayscale and the grayscale is also pale on the paler side it is not on the darker side so it means that this patient has got good visual fields he can he is able to see uh, he has got a high hill of vision almost normal hill of vision and that's why you are seeing the boxes that are all um, in the normal population so now if we come to the total deviation we have already said that in total deviation the values if they are in negative it means decreased sensitivity and positive values have got increased sensitivity whereas zero is normal and it is compared with age matched uh, population individuals so you can see that the total deviation is almost normal you can see there are no dark spots dark squares and if you come to the pattern deviation it also is almost just like the total deviation it means there is no generalized depression so these are the this is the true uh, visual field and uh, it shows uh, then if you come to the glaucoma hemifield it is within the normal limits uh, mean deviation is plus uh, 0 0.75 pattern standard deviation is 1.25 so it's a reliable normal visual field printout humphrey printout uh, and uh, in order to diagnose the abnormalities you should be able to first know how the normal visual field looks like so that's a normal humphrey visual field printout in which all the values are normal and you should see that these are the squares or rectangles whereas uh, now i will show you a visual field printout of another patient uh, which has been done on Medmont so that's a visual field print out of Medmont you can see the elongated circle that is the gray scale the right eye of 50 years old 
male patient has been tested the test duration was eight minutes so eight minutes means that it's uh, uh, supra threshold or uh, just like a CETA standard type of strategy and now here you can see now the difference from the Humphrey is that here in the dark areas in the unseen areas there is written no no means that the patient is unable to perceive the stimuli in these areas it is just like a visual field printout which I show you in the last video the central island of vision the central tunnel vision is preserved whereas surrounding uh, visual fields are extremely depressed depressed now here the total deviation is called age normal deviation and here you can also see only the center is preserved and periphery has got dark spots and pattern deviation is also just like the standard deviation so it means there is no generalized depression and it shows a ring scotoma the uh, reliability incident incidence fixation losses uh, uh, false negatives and false positives they are also normal like uh, false negatives are 33 percent but these are in a range of normal so it's a normal visual field printout again advanced glaucomatous damage with ring scotoma is shown so that's how visual field print out of the medmont machine is shown you can see the circles uh, these are in the circular shape not a rectangular shape so i hope after watching this printout you will be able to identify uh, the medmont visual field printout if it is given to you in the exam and it is was a reliable advanced glaucomatous damage so now there's the third visual field printout uh, of the left eye and here uh, you can see the round circles now these are exactly round circles where and there is no uh, even the gray scale is also round whereas the gray scale in the medmont was elongated just like a comet tail so that's octopus the latest one and it, it uses the g top technology g top means glaucoma uh, tendency oriented perimetry which estimates thresholds based on the information gathered from more detailed assessment of the adjacent points so top presents each stimulus once at each location instead of four to six times per location with a standard technique it's a more advanced uh, visual field analyzer and you should be able to identify if a octopus uh, printout is given to you thank you